and welcome back to Train Simulator. I'm the Scottish Lord and today we're going to be doing a new route that I bought a little while ago. It is in uh, Scotland so I know it well. It's the Edinburgh to Glasgow line and we're going to be doing Standby Man. I made the scenario. <laughs> um, we're going to be driving the Class 170 Armstrong Powerhouse enhancement pack version. I have done this. Have a, my, my highest score was 90. It's not the best. So uh, we're going to get into it. And uh, yeah. See you when we do. Okay, so we're into the scenario. The briefing is this. The previous driver of 2J58 has fallen ill. You're to drive the 718 service to Edinburgh Waverley as per schedule. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the train up by uh, doing all this shenanigans. Turn that off, put that on, put us into forwards, and I'm gonna press T so we can actually open the doors. I'm gonna put the windscreen wipers on. Our first stop's Edinburgh Park over here. We're currently at Linlithgow. So we'll just look outside. This is the Class 170 in Barbie livery. I'm going to change my uh, destination board by pushing F8 and we're going to be changing that to Edinburgh away from Oh, here we go. Door shutting. Wait, the guard buzzer. There it is. Push the button myself. And we're going to bring ourselves into notch one to begin with. Oh, that's my fault. I forgot to switch off the DRA or on. I don't actually know if it goes off or on. So, yes, I created this scenario <laughs> because I wanted to create a sort of 20 minute route for video and this seemed like the best way to get back into Train Simulator for the channel. So yeah, this route from Linlithgow to Edinburgh Waverley is quite a nice one actually. Um, it's very scenic, except you wouldn't tell because it's uh, currently raining. And yeah, it's just a really, really nice route. I've been down this uh, way before. This is old, so uh, there's things that are just not right. For example, when we get to Haymarket, um, that is going to look absolutely nothing like what it does today. There's a big refurb project a while back um, on Haymarket and it looks completely different. So, yes. This is a 100 mile an hour zone. So, we're not speeding. Lovely green signal there. That's what we want. Slight bit of lag. But that's this route for you. I love the sound of the rain as well. It's lovely. Oh, here we go. We do need to apply a bit of sand just for the added grip on the rails. Um, because the rain is slicking them up a bit. And how do I tell? I can tell because of this light here, the WSP activity. Real slip prevention or protection or something like that. I've actually got no clue. But yeah. I have to say, I was around when the Barbie liveries were still a thing. I say that as if I'm ancient, I'm not. It wasn't too long ago they started getting phased out. Um, oh, here's another train. Hello. I don't have three one fours or uh, one five sixes, so can't do that here. Also, this is set in two thousand and fourteen. Only for the reason that uh, if I was to set it further forward, we'd have uh, three eight fives, 
and 380s also doing this route but uh, I don't have those so <laughs> I can't really put them in which is a big shame sheep look at all the sheep th th this is basically the equivalent to me actually being on a train but th I've never done this sort of commentary style when I'm just 20 minutes on a route usually I've had the last time I did Train Simulator was for the uh, TSL challenges and that was with the likes of Soundjip and um, Jamie. Jamie plays a game mate, except he's not, he's now in Jamie's Railway videos. You need to remember revamps. Um, so I don't think I've really done much in the way of solo activity for Train Simulator. It's just one of those nice, calm, relaxing ones that I like doing in my spare time. So I thought, hey, why not put it on YouTube? And for anyone who's wondering why the heck isn't this Stepford County Railway, um, well, I'm planning on bringing out a 5 million update video for Stepford County Railway. However, there's an issue at the moment where I can't actually uh, load up the 755-3 which is a big shame. I'm just gonna let us coast at 90. Because we're gonna get an 80 mile an hour speed limit soon. I think it's after this, it might be after this corner. Or it also might not be, you know? Oh, but it is. Hang on. Just going to put a slight brake on. And bring us up to notch 3 to just hold our speed. I think that's notch 3 anyway. Yeah, it's notch 3. And that should hold the speed. Opposed to uh, bringing it up any. So if we look at the speedometer... Oh, it is slowly going up. Let's uh, move ourselves back onto notch two, why don't we, eh? That's notch one. I can't count. Good enough. As long as we don't go above that 80 threshold. Oh, here we are, going into a tunnel. That means we can save power. And switch the windscreen wipers off. Nice. And then uh, switch them back on again. Oh, we can go up to 90. And that should be us on uh, notch. S oh, that is notch 6. Well, full notch also works, you know. So, uh, so just a bit of sand just to make sure that it is going to go properly. I love how they've put so much detail into this as well. It really is a lovely scenery. It looks like this. Well, when you're looking out this window anyway. Because I can only go off that window. Because I never got into a cab when 170s ruled this line. I don't, I don't know if 170s ever ruled that line actually, now that I think about it. This is probably a very unrealistic scenario. Whistle. This is probably a quite unrealistic scenario. Because I don't actually know if 170s ever did this line. I have a funny feeling they didn't. And I think I just exposed myself there. Yeah. What the Scottish Lord doesn't actually know if the train he's driving was actually on the route he was driving? Ah! Well, try not to shake camera too much because that causes lag. And we don't want lag. Lag's not nice, especially for video quality footage. Well, here we are going over a junction.
this should be a hundred mile an hour speed limit here. AWS ramp and we can put ourselves back onto full power. So this is a 170 unit with a max speed of 100 mph. Um, it's conformed, conformed. Uh, it is formed of three carriages um, with first class seating allocated on one carriage I think. Yeah, it's only one carriage. I should know this um, off the top of my head. Uh, first class allocated at the end of one carriage. Little thing here that you might not know. First class on the original National Express Scott Rail used to be known as business class. Um, just a little thing there. Back when we tried to make things seem fancier than they actually are. Those were the days. Next station should be uh, Edinburgh Park, yeah, which is. And the funny thing, we're not going to make it in that time, which is a bit odd, really. We, uh... oh hello, which is a bit stupid, really, because I put the times in. These are based off of real, real train times. Oh, hang on. Oh, coast, coast. I think. Are we above? No, I don't think we are actually. We're not above 100. That is the one thing with the train. It can actually go to about 103. <laughs> but we like nice round numbers. So let's ignore that. Now soon we're going to have to start uh, putting the brake on. In fact, now's a pretty good time to do that. It may have been a very good t oh Luminec. Okay, put the sander on. Put the sander on. Oh dear, we are going to miss this station horrendously. Uh, I think I've put emergency brake on. If it actually allows us to stop at the station well, I'll be very surprised. <laughs> oh. Okay, that actually did work. Yeah, that was emergency brake. We'll have lost a few points for that, I reckon. Yeah, this is Edinburgh Park Station. Without the retail park up here. There's a retail park there now. And that should be the travel lodge. No, it's not. It's the other one. There's a travel lodge over here now, actually. Um, I've been to the park a few times. There's also now the uh, tram stop that's about here-ish. Also, let's have a look inside. There's no one here. That's a bit... Oh! Hello, two people. Buzz out. And away we go. Now we should be getting to Haymarket at about 34. I don't think that's going to happen, but we can but try. Because if we don't try, we won't succeed. I'm trying to put the, uh, the uh, notches up slowly because they are notorious for triggering this light if I put it up too quickly. Also, we have electrification here, but we can't actually uh, 
use electrification from the Nithgo, which is slightly annoying. It's all electrified now, that line, but uh, back then it wasn't. Which is part of the reason why I can't use the 385s as well. Because uh, they don't work. Oh, here we go. See? Doesn't like big changes after Edinburgh Park for some strange reason. Yeah, 34. We're never going to make it to Haymarket at 34. I'd put it maybe 35. Not too long, anyway. Should be coming along pretty soon and uh, converging with the um, Fife Cycle line. That part of the ECML. Yeah, here we are. Which means we should soon pass Geno's Depository. For anyone who uh, knows this line or knows Edinburgh, will know that there's an awfully large depository for a shop, also known as uh, just a big warehouse. Here it is, coming up on the left. I think that's it anyway. Just going to coast for now. Aye, that's it. But they can't, for legal reasons, they can't actually put Jenners in front of it, so it's just a. Oh, no minute. So it's just store depository. I'm going to put this onto first notch because we're going to come into a, into a 40 soon. Here's Murrayfield. Home of Scottish rugby. Oh, blue minute. No, that, why are you doing that? I pushed the button. I pushed the button. AWS is flawed. Oh, blue minute. Right. I now have. I don't know why it's done that. I'm going to now have to wait for the train to break and stop. And then because I'm in notch 7, it will automatically restart. And that blue light will start triggering a bit. Yep, there we go. We need to just put it onto notch three. I don't know why it does this. Just put infinite amount of sand. There we go. That seems to do it. A market depot. Back when it was controlled by Fast Grip. Hello! Yeah, we're definitely not going to make it safe for now. Um, <laughs> also, this uh, this uh, journey is based off of real a real journey that is made. I actually just looked up on real time trains, to be honest. Put the timings in. Realised that going from Glasgow to Edinburgh was going to make a huge, huge video, and I don't want to do that because the majority of my videos are a bit shorter now. Because a while back I threw up a poll and people said they wanted shorter videos, so I gave them shorter videos. Also, platform three, we're coming in on platform three. Platform one. I will not be surprised if we score negative points for this scenario, despite the fact I made it myself. Here we go, and break. Here we go. 
just going to break down, well, not break down, but... Here we go, try to stop at three car stop. Ooh, so close. So close and two minutes late. Aye, this is uh, awfully bare bones compared to what it is now. Also, look at that front. Let's go into the station. Oh. <laughs> Hello, me. I'm very serious. Hello. And we're off again into the abyss that is known as the Haymarket Tunnel. Where we can finally switch our windscreen wipers off again. Shouldn't have to worry about the wheels sliding, seeing as we are in a tunnel. And we're going to have to slow down because we get hit with the 35 mile an hour speed limit. After we leave the tunnel. So, while we can do 40 in the tunnel, I'm going to set us to coast at about 35. There we go. It's all a bit dark in here, isn't it? Let's turn the light on. There we go, now we can actually see what we're doing. Oh, the end is nigh. Bill Nye. See, here's that speed limit I was on about. There we go. Oh. 20. 20 mile an hour speed limit. Let's uh, get on that, you know. There we go. Coasting. Oh, I forgot to put the windscreen wipers back on. There we go. Oh, oh, very big junction change there. There's the uh, National Gallery. No AWS. No. Switch the windscreen wipers off again. So we come into platform 16 of Edinburgh Waverley. Let's honk the horn for old time's sake. Probably going to get penalised for that. Start rec scenario complete. Well done. You have completed the scenario successfully. I know. Right. Let's break. Switch the wipers off. And open the doors. Or not see the doors opening. We, we scored 72 points, which is better than nothing. We were 91 seconds late into Haymarket. But we got a timeliness bonus for Edinburgh Park, which is brilliant. And surprisingly enough, we never actually got a penalty 
for uh, emergency braking, which is interesting. But apparently we did... Oh, yeah, that was when we were slowing down that 20 zone. We might not have uh, lost so many points if I'd uh, noticed that a bit quicker. But, yes, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to get notified of when I upload, then be sure to hit the notification bell and subscribe. And you know what? Why not check out the Twitter as well at Scottish Hot Whitey? But I think Scottish Hot Whitey.